Yeah. Uh, schist is a metamorphic rock. Maybe we remember from geology that um, igneous comes straight out of the magma, so you've got your basalt and your volcanics and I think granite is some, some form of crystalline igneous, and then you've got uh, maybe your sedimentary stuff, so everything that's been ground down by glaciation or in, and down through rivers and goes underneath the water body and in and, and, and an ocean, so this is sandstone, this limestones, these sorts of things, that's the sedimentary rock, and then your third type is metamorphic two tectonic plates pushing together, metamorphosizing the rock through heat and pressure when it crystallizes, in our case in schist, is in this very linear and layered way, um, through foliated, leafy, compressed, um, extremely refractive, um, so quartzite the light enters in it and, enters and, and exits at a different angle. You have mica as well, which is platelet bits of refle reflective rock, so refractive and reflective, very linear and, and layered. And This is the sense that you get from, from what, it, what it issues into wine. Wherever it is in the world, uh, Prairat, uh, Doro Valley, Collio Banyuls, Cote de Puy, Cote de Roussillon, um, all the way through uh, into the north, into perhaps Mosul and, and, uh, and uh, Nice um, out in Savigny. Wherever it is, you've got maybe you have lots of different climates, you have uh, different varieties, different cultures, different residual sugar levels, but whenever it's done right, whenever it's true to its site, it's about precision and detail. And much as the texture of the rock would suggest that the power is through compression and drive and linear, sort of linear on this sort of side of things. We just had one last night from a um, from a place I've never been for. The closest wine that I've that I've ever tasted to, to our wine is not from Burgundy or Alsace. It's Collier Rouge. It's something that's that has that power. It has that um, linear sort of drive. That's that's who we are.